Okay, so I'm going to go through uh, the intro to this is Tendrix's Little Wing, and we're going to use this as a basis of uh, putting to use what we learned in the last lesson of Tendrix's chord style. Okay, so I'm just going to play through it real quick so you know what we're shooting for. <laughs> Okay, so it's pretty. It's it's got a little couple little tricky parts to it, but for the most part, it's not that difficult. So we're gonna break it down. From the beginning, we just place our thumb at this the twelfth uh, fret, sixth string, and then to an upstroke, you're borrowing the two top, the first and second string here with your first finger, upstroke and just, and then kill the strings, deaden the strings, down up. Then we have our first little phrase really into it. We do a hammer on, I mean we do an open A, hammer on the fifth string, second fret, with your second finger, and then while that's doing, do an upstroke on the open G string, third string. Use that as an opportunity to shift up when that open G is going. And then we go, um, from here we go, just Fifth, fifth fret, fifth string, first finger, hammer to seven, and then bar the two middle strings, the fifth fret, hit those together. And then hammer on, hammer on, hit the two, no, those two together again and hammer on seven on the fourth string. Okay, then we use our thumb here, thumb at the third fret, sixth string, then open G string, then you, your first finger is barring these. This was around that open, that, that G major shape, remember? I know how he does all those. And so he holds this, G, hits open G, then do a quick hammer pull, the fifth fret with the pinky, then pick those two strings again by themselves, then go to the two, the second and third string and start working on that like this. As soon as you pick it, hammer on to the fifth fret on the third string with the third finger, and then pick back and forth between the two. And then resolve it on that third finger with the, the bottom note in that chord. Then slide up to A with your thumb, and then we do the, just that hammer on fifth string five to seven, and then the two middle strings again, and then come over to the second and third string, and those two together, play those two together and hammer on the seventh fret third string. We're working off this A minor chord. Remember that? Working off of that. And then we have, so after that, come over to the fourth string, hammer on five and seven, and then pause first quickly, and then go to the fifth string, five and seven, hammer. And then quick little, kind of just a end of that seven and come back down. Open string. Okay, and then when you hit that open E, it gives you time to shift up and hold the seventh fret. And you're basically gonna play this chord, a full bar on the seven. And we're gonna have a, um, the, eighth, the eighth fret with your second finger here and pick the second and third string. You're gonna have a seven on the third and eight on the second. And when you do that, you do a quick hammer pull with your pinky at the 10th fret on that second string. 
and then come back and hit the two middle strings that have that seven bar. And then we start here with seven, nine. Hit that. This is based around that minor chord shape. Remember, every single one of these notes is in the key of E, E minor. So we have, we can use that. And then he starts the phrase, a little phrase here. Seven and nine, seven on the fifth, nine on the fourth. And then I replaced that seven on the fifth string with a 10 and kept the seven on the fourth string still going. And then go to the two middle strings, seven and seven. Pick those and then pick quick hammer on the nine on the fourth string with your third finger. So we got. And then back to the two sevens in the middle string. Back down to that 10 on the fifth string with a 10 in the seventh, 10 on the fifth string, seven on the fourth. And then, I'm oh, sorry. Seven, seven, to end it. And then we go to the, this is off the B minor chord. Hit the low B. He might be doing this with his, it's kind of difficult though, so I'm gonna play it like that, but you can try it both ways. Full bar, and then hit nine on the fourth string, uh, fourth string and then seven on the third string, which is done by that bar. And then take your pinky and on the ninth fret on the first string, along with the second string um, at the seventh fret from the bar, just nine, ten. So it goes, then ten on the second string, and then back to the first string, seventh fret, and then whack it. The nine, seven, seven on the fourth, third, and second string. Go to the major major shape right here. It's just the major, just six, eight, and then eight and seven together, two middle strings. And then you're down to this minor shape, A minor. And you hit, so off of that, we get to mess around again, and we go seven and five. And hammer on to the ninth fret. And then back down to the seven and five, the two middle strings. And then those open by themselves, the, the fives by themselves, the two middle strings. And then eight on the fifth string with those two middle string fives. And then pick the five five on the fourth and fifth strings and then hammer on the seventh fret on the fifth string. And then back to the two middle strings and then pick by themselves and pick hammer and then back and then come down to um, uh, this one to do a slide you probably want to do it with your thumb slide from the five to seven and it kind of leads us down or you can just go like this but you got to catch this note with the third finger the the thumb and then do the three five on the four three on the second five on the second, and shift it up two frets and then down two frets. Then a regular C major. Then move the second finger over to A and C right here. A and C and just go hit the second fret, third string, first fret, second fret, second string. Just those two strings while everything is the C still going on underneath it. And then come up and play that D. Then back down. And then move up to the power chord at the fifth fret, fifth string, and then end it with this major shape. Remember? Remember that major shape? Okay, just two middle strings, hammer nine, back to seven, seven, pinky on the fifth, seven, seven, the fourth of this string, and then hammer the ninth. And that's it. So let me guys know, let you know what you think. If you want anybody else's style to be analyzed, just let me know. I appreciate it. Goodbye.